What's up, y'all? It's Ebony Christina. Now, if you have questions about the flight attendant hiring process, what to expect, what does it look like, how long is it going to take, this video is going to be for you because in this video, I'm going to be giving you all the steps along the hiring process to becoming a flight attendant, let you know what to expect, how long is it going to take, and also give you some of my proven tips that will help you make it through on to get your CJO. So if you want that information, make sure you watch this entire video and also subscribe to my channel. But before we get started, if you are seriously interested in becoming a flight attendant, make sure you check out my book, The Fly Girl's Guide, How to Become a Flight Attendant, which is available now for order and paperback or download through Amazon. And the link is in the description of this video. All right, now let's get started. So the flight attendant hiring process, um, it is a very unique experience. If you haven't gone through this process yet, you are in for an interesting journey because this is one of the most unique and different hiring experiences that I've ever experienced from any other job I've ever had. So I don't really think of this as just like your typical job interview or your typical hiring process. This, um, becoming a flight attendant is a little more like a casting call. You know, it's almost like a casting call. And as I explain how the hiring process look, you'll get a clear understanding as to why I would call it a casting call. So what I'm gonna do now is just walk you through each phase and each step of the hiring process so you can know what to expect once you submit your application, what's gonna come next after that and, and so forth. And also I'll give you a few tips as well as to you know some things that help me along the way, that help me stand out from other candidates, help get my resume pulled, which inevitably helped me become a flight attendant. The first step of the hiring process is very simple. It's very easy and a lot of people are surprised by it. But the first step in the hiring process is to simply submit your application. Submit your application to not only your dream airline, but several other airlines to increase your chances of becoming a flight attendant and getting hired by an airline. So that's the first step in the hiring process. So you Now, after you've submitted your application and your resume, the next step of the hiring process can go one or two ways. Some airlines may have you do a personality test. Now, you know these personality tests where they're asking you all these random theory theory type questions about what would you do if this happened? How do you feel about this? How do you handle this situation? You're like, what? And the question, the answer seems so obvious and you're like a hundred questions. Well, yeah, some airlines will make you do that personality test. So once you submit your application and your resume, make sure you monitor your emails to see what the next step of the process is gonna be because that's how they will be corresponding with you. Once you submit your application, the waiting game begins. Now I'm gonna tell you, this, the flight attendant hiring process can be very challenging. It can be a long road and it can be challenging. It can be very tiring on your emotions and your feelings. So from the beginning that you submit your first application, have patience and understand this will happen in due time. Now, sometimes airlines, they work really fast. That hiring process from beginning to end, it just happens and it flows and within three weeks, you're across the country in training and you don't even know how you got there. But then in some cases, you, you submit an application and you may not hear from the airline for like four to six months later. That's just the way that it happens, you know? So regardless, have an open mind and be patient and understand that this process is all about the waiting game. Now, the second step of the hiring process is either going to be a phone or a video interview. Now, usually it is a video interview, which is the second step, but a few airlines right now are doing phone interviews. I know of at least two uh, airlines, one is mainline and one is regional, that after you submit your application, if they like you, they decide that your application is great, then they will send you a request to do a phone interview. Quickly, really quickly, we'll go over the phone interview. I find the phone interviews to be... Um, less challenging and less intimidating because you're over the phone. You don't have to actually look anyone in the eyes. So it's kind of a an easier a easier interview process. With the phone interview, always be professional. One of my little tricks uh, to a phone interview, don't do it in your pajamas. Don't do it looking lazy and tired in your bedroom because that works into your mind subconsciously. If you have your pajamas on and you're sitting in your bed, which is all messy and everything, your mind is in rest mode. So you're not gonna give your all in that interview like like you would if you were at a real face-to-face -face interview. You have to treat that phone interview as well as the video interview like a real face-to-face -face interview and do the same things you would do if that recruiter is right there in your face. So when you're doing your phone interview, dress up, put a suit on, put a dress on, you know, look professional so that way your body will know that you're doing something important 
and your your mind will follow through accordingly. The phone interviews usually last about 15 minutes. They're not very long. If you do pass the phone interview, the next step is either going to be the face-to-face -face interview or then you will still have to do a video interview, but it just depends on the airline. Now for the video interview. Now video interview, this is a tricky one, and especially if you've never done a video interview because it can be very awkward the first time that you do it because you're sitting in front of a computer, questions flash on the screen, and you literally have to look at yourself or look at the camera and give your answers to these interview questions as if a real human is seen in front of your face and they're not. So that can be a little daunting and it can be a little um, awkward the first time that you do it. Now let me explain how this interv video interview works. So after you submit your application and the airline decides they want to proceed in the hiring process with, process with you, they'll send you an email to complete a video interview. Most airlines will give you uh, about five, usually around five days to complete the video interview. The video interview is recorded, it's not live, so basically you log into a system, um, the camera comes on, they post, they give you instructions on how this is going to go, they'll post the questions, they'll give you about 30 seconds countdown to prepare for your answer, so they'll post the question, why do you want to become a flight attendant, for example. You see the question, they count down 30 seconds, and boom, it's showtime. The camera comes on and you have to put your best face for it and give your best answer. A couple things about that. One, you're in a room by yourself, you're talking to the camera, so um, although it is awkward, it should be just a little less nerve-wracking because you don't have anyone in your face, you know, kind of intimidating you even more. The second thing about the video interview is some airlines, it's one and done. Those are the scary ones. So sometimes when you submit, if you, when that question comes on and you give your answer, Whatever answer you give within like, it's just like a minute and a half, minute and a half to two minutes uh, time frame answer that you can give. Whatever answer you can give in that time frame, it's done and it goes on to the airline. There's no edits, there's no redo. So you always wanna give your best face for and give your best answers the first time for your video interview. Now some airlines are a little more nicer, okay? Some airlines are nicer and they will allow you a retake. So I've had airlines where, I've applied to airlines where they give you unlimited retakes. They're like, do it as many times as you can until you get it right and then you submit the answer that you like. Then there are some airlines and they're like, we'll give you three attempts to get your perfect answer, but that's it. And then you, of those three, you submit one of them. So depending on how your airline works that you're applying with, just be sure, do the practice exams if they, there are some, and always put your best face forth the first time and practice before you start your interview. Now the face-to-face -face interview. This is where the real magic is going to happen. This is going to be your real make or break opportunity, that face-to-face -face interview. And this is really the casting call process. The face-to-face -face process, depending on the airline, can go a variety of ways. But the process during the face-to-face -face interview is usually pretty standard. The thing that changes is just how big the event is. So if you're applying for an airline, let's say like Delta, Delta or Spirit, that's another one. Those, those particular airlines their face-to-face -face interviews usually are really big deals and there's a lot of people there so for those airlines you have a lot of candidates candidates from all over the world trying to get the same spot that you want the good thing about it is airlines are usually looking to hire as many flight attendants that they can they don't usually have a set amount of positions they're looking to fill and everyone is just thrown away you know it's not like okay we're looking to fill 10 positions and out of a hundred of you let's see who fill those positions no how it normally goes is we have a hundred of you let's see out of a hundred of you guys how many of you fit into our culture and fit into what we're looking for in the perfect flight attendant now the first part of the face-to-face -face interview is usually like a presentation the airline will give you a presentation and tell you all about the airline what the culture is like what they're looking for what you can expect as a flight attendant they'll usually even go over information like pay reserve life and they'll do a Q&A so if you have any questions that will be a good time to just ask like one simple question. I always recommend asking a question at that time during the Q&A because it will allow you to stand out. Just raise your hand and ask like a simple question and something that's related to the presentation that they just gave. So next comes the first part of the face-to-face -face interview. Now, the first part is usually either one-on-one -on -one interviews with one or two recruiters and the recruiters are flight attendants themselves. They're usually current flight attendants for the airline. So you will have your one -on, your first one-on-one -on -one interview with the recruiter, or you will have a group interview or some kind of group activity. If you have a group interview or some kind of group activity, 
make sure you take charge. Don't overly take charge, but just try to be a little bit of the leader, but a good leader. You know, keep everyone included. Be um, enthusiastic, motivational, and speak up. If they need one person to speak on the behalf of the group, volunteer and be that person. They like to see people who participate, who have great personalities and are personable and interact well with others. Another big part of the face-to-face -face interview is they're watching you guys to see how you're interacting with those around you. They don't want people who are too introverted or too shy and closed off that they don't even talk to the other candidates around them. So anytime that you're just waiting around or when you have group activities, use that time to just talk to the people socially around you. Just chat a little bit, but don't be overly talking talkative but just make sure you're able to be social so that's the first part you're either going to do that's the first round of the face-to-face -face interview you're either going to do a group interview or you'll have your very first one-on-one -on -one interview now if you don't do the group interview let's say your particular airline doesn't do group interviews they do one-on-one -on -one interviews and honest and actually from my past experience all of my the both both of the airlines that I applied for and worked for um, I've never had group interviews or group activities. It was always just two rounds to the face-to-face -face interview. One was like the first one-on-one -on -one interview with the recruiter or one or two recruiters. They like you, you go on to the next round of the face-to-face -face interview. And that one's usually with two recruiters as well, but one's an HR rep and one is a recruiter. And we're just gonna ask you a few questions. These questions can be situational. Um, there's those star format questions where you have to answer situation, task, action, and result you know, or the questions will be um, more scenario based. So they'll give you like a scenario that may happen to you as a flight attendant and they'll ask you how you'll respond to it. Usually I've, I've uh, noticed that it's likely about five to eight, five, six, eight questions that you're asked in your first round of interviews. Usually six is like the golden number. So expect to have about six to eight questions that you're gonna be asked during your first round um, of the face-to-face. -face. Now, the first round of the face-to-face -face is done. Then they do the first round of cuts. This is the scary part. They do the first round of cuts. How it normally goes, not all the time, but from my experience, there's two rooms. If you go in this room, that's a good sign. If you go in that room, you may be going home. So just hope you go into the good, the good room on in your second round of interviews. Okay, so you made it to the second round of the face-to-face -face interview. I, my opinion is that if you make it to the second part of the face-to-face -face interview, that is a really good sign that they like you. So the second part of the uh, the face-to-face -face interview usually probably has around maybe like four to six questions. You usually have a, maybe less questions. And the questions aren't as um, challenging either. They're not as difficult. They're just trying to get a feel as to whether or not you can deal with the flight attendant lifestyle. They're gonna ask you more lifestyle type questions. Are you willing to relocate? Do you have any tattoos? You know, how do you feel about reserve life? How do you feel about this? How do you prepare? Why should we hire you? They're gonna ask you that final question. So why should we hire you? They're gonna ask you that one more time. And that's when you just gotta muster up all your enthusiasm and energy and tell them one last time why you are the best candidate and they should choose you to be their next flight attendant. Now, sometimes um, you will get a CJ on the spot. Some airlines, the best one in my opinion, will just will ease all your misery until you're right there if you got the job okay they'll give you a cjo my experience i always got my cjos right there on the spot but not every airline operates that way some airlines will say okay we'll contact you in three days to two weeks and just accept it as that if that does happen if that's the case that's not necessarily a thanks but no thanks oftentimes they really are going to contact you in like a couple days and say, hey, congratulations, we want to extend you an offer. If they do the CJO on the spot, then the next step of the process would be to start your background test, do your drug screening, do like your vision and hearing exams and things like that to get the process started. And they'll also give you your training start date. So I hope you found this video very helpful. If you have any questions for me, talk to me in the comments below. Let me know if you have any additional questions. If you like this video also, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and my next video coming up. And then lastly, don't forget to pick up your copy of the Fly Girl's Guide, How to Become a Flight Attendant, which is available now on Amazon. And I will see you guys next time. Follow me on social media as well, Ebony Christina. Bye guys, good luck.